Thank you, Mr. Shapiro, for that very informative talk. You not only opened our eyes, you also opened our minds. May I now request Dr. Anupam Sibel, Group Medical Director of Apollo Hospitals, to formally introduce a person whom I really don't think requires any introduction at all, Dr. Pratap Reddy, the Dawn of Indian Healthcare. Uh, good afternoon. Now, how do you introduce someone who doesn't need any introduction? Well, I'm going to try and introduce the architect of modern healthcare in India, Dr. Pratap Reddy. Dr. Reddy received his initial medical training in Chennai at Stanley Medical College, then went to the United States, did his residency in internal medicine, his fellowship in cardiology at Massachusetts General Hospital, which, as many of us know, is again the number one hospital in the United States. In 1978, he came back to India, set up a practice, and it was in 1983 that he set up India's first corporate hospital, Apollo Hospitals Chennai, in what used to be then known as Madras. In 29 years, Apollo has grown and is today an integrated large healthcare delivery system covering primary, secondary, and tertiary care with 70 clinics, 54 hospitals, close to 9,000 beds, a strong presence in health IT, telemedicine, pharmacies, consulting, education, research. Apollo over the years has treated as many as 26 million patients from 120 countries. Dr. Reddy has served as a catalyst for many path-breaking legislations, to name a few, allowing funding for hospitals in India, tax reductions for health insurance for preventive health checks, and the Human Organ Transplant Act. Over the years, many honors have come Dr. Reddy's way, including the Citizen of the Year presented by Mother Teresa, Lifetime Achievement Awards from many institutions like the all India Management Association, FICI, universities across the globe, and of course the Padma Vibhushan presented by the President of India in 2010. Carlyle said that a great man shows his greatness in the way he treats little men. Over the last 15 years where I've had the opportunity of interacting with Dr. Reddy, I can say that I have seen that in every interaction. So ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together to welcome a great doctor, a visionary, Dr. Reddy. Namaste. Dhanyavad to Lee Shapiro. I think we had a very wonderful morning. I hope all of you would have felt what I felt in the early 80s when I lost a young man who couldn't afford to go to US because he couldn't raise $50,000 and he left behind an young 31-year-old lady and two children. I said, how many more are going to lose their loved ones because they can't raise that $50,000? Because you know what? At that time, India did not have the care that was available in the developed world. But today, we are very pleased that not just Apollo, the whole country, there are a number of hospitals which are able to deliver the same level of care that's available anywhere in the world. But you know, that is a 20th century story which has no relevance to today. Today, the health challenges are totally different. But they still belong to the same triangle. The triangle that, that was, uh, you know, if, if you see the vision of Apollo, or the mission of Apollo, it was clearly to show how do we bring health care of quality and greater access to a large cross-section of our people. And today it's very nicely put it saying the end triangle in health care today is quality, access and cost benefit. I think this is the true things even if we are able to bring in greater and greater quality because, yes, let's give the credit to the, the, the clinicians, the, the surgeons, and so on and so forth, and the technology that's backing up, backing us up. You know, I remember when we first bought the first whole body CT in the country into Chennai Hospital, Apollo Hospital, everybody called me crazy. 
Uh, Dr. Reddy, you are spending nearly 30% of your whole hospital cost onto that one machine. But today, whatever technology that's available anywhere to manage people, we brought it. You know why? Because we felt the patient everywhere is the same. We must be able to do continuously address his concerns. This is where I, we, we always believe and I, 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 we should never, never forget in healthcare we need technology, we need all the you know, researchers and the scientists but we must not forget that it's the patient who is in front of us and all our solutions should go around him. And this is where I think there is a great uh, opening that uh, this morning we had when uh, Mr. Ramaswamy spoke. He spoke at length about the ISRO. I remember when it's the first telemedicine, I think it's in this city, this is then called, it was named on the same day at Cyberabad. You know, when uh, the uh, President Bill Clinton, his last visit to India as the President of the United States, when he came here, he connected my village to all our Apollo hospitals using the ISRO connectivity through telemedicine. He was amazed when he saw that uh, one young child being advised and the mother being told by our cardiologist in Hyderabad saying, your daughter has got a hole in the heart, send the child to us during vacation, we'll fix it and then she can rejoin when the school reopens. But then the doctor was nice to add another word to the mother, saying the child will lead a normal life. You know, that touched the president very much. He said, Dr. Reddy, the, 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 the many, many people across the world should use this so that this benefit of technology will pass on for people in, in, in multiple distances. I think truly that's what we're talking. This is what ISRO then gave. And today we hope when Raghavan talked about PPP, we will certainly make the ISRO which has got larger space today available for a lot of people, for healthcare people to use and use the today's 21st century innovations, 21st century digital innovations along with the, uh, the, the great uh, improvements that have taken place both in uh, biology and of course, you know, whatever the, 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 the various hospitals have done. Uh, Mr. Brahmachari again, you know, was, say, was very powerful in saying, we welcome, you know, he used saying, Dr. Reddy, you are our neighbor in, in uh, Delhi, we have the most powerful computer, we have got great models of uh, re research, and we are testing out, you know, it's, it's really working. I think that's a, you know, a great eye-opener to clearly say, that we are not two distinct parts. The scientists, sometimes we felt the science and uh, the real medicine is different uh, from uh, Mr. Brahmachari's uh, very open offer saying we'll work together and make a difference in, in people's lives in finding new, new t t treatment methodologies, newer drugs and give it to the rest of the world was very, very forceful. And of course, the the last speaker in the morning was uh, uh, a great man. He was a professor at, at IIT. We knew him and Professor Ganapati very often brought him to the, to the hospital when we thought he had a crazy idea saying that he'll give this gigabytes of uh, bandwidth at our, uh, approximately no cost. But unfortunately, uh, whatever we wanted, we wanted this gigabytes of healthcare to, so that the, the, their point was the government of India said that there are plans that a node will be available for every 6,000 Indians. If that's available, we thought that's the best way that the country could ride the health so that we could really reach the last mile. And then the constant thing that people are saying, you know, everything is, is okay, this healthcare today but they are not going to the villages. So here we promise if the NKN is given, we should be able to go, go to the last mile. What I really wanted to stress, I think, is the tremendous amount of uh, effort that has been put by Sangeeta and our team in bringing all of you here. 
you know, with, from different countries, with different uh, backgrounds, like what Lee Shapiro has told, the five models of healthcare which is already working. What could we take from those five models? What can we bring others together in a participatory manner and make a significant breakthrough in a great crisis in health that's facing some of the countries? You know, the crisis is different from the developed to the underdeveloped and the developing countries, but there is the, a huge problem. This huge problem, I think, is used, can we can use all of our multiple, uh, you know, the formulas or participation in uh, the developments that have already taken place and add on a significant value and use this digital devolution. You know, it has done everything to every other sector. Although it has done something for our, in healthcare, in technology, it has helped us in, in, in methodologies, in, in management of patients. But what, the, what we need to do is, what has it done to the social media? What has it done to the, you know, when uh, Mr. Raghavan said, he, he carries his visa card and he can travel anywhere in the world, but he can't get carried if he has some problem watching a football match. Can we solve this? I think yes. Because if you put all, all our minds together, the various solutions that have worked and various new concepts that we have, I think this, this uh, wonderful conference which, which has been organized should bring us together. So I think what we need is just not to, yes, here, listen to a few more lectures, but at the end of the day, if you can roll out saying these are the ten models which will, we will implement. Uh, the models should be very clear. Number one is, the, what